Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M, and today I'm going to show you and attempt to teach you how to match and coordinate different patterns in the same outfit. I've got my work cut out for me, so we better get started, but today, gentlemen, we match like men. Now, for some of you, the thought of wearing different patterns in the same outfit is kind of scary. I don't know, Alpha. I don't think I can. What if I screw up and look like a dork? Well, the good news is that matching and coordinating different patterns in the same outfit isn't as complicated as you might think. There's basically one rule that if you follow, you simply can't screw it up. Can I wear checks and stripes in the same outfit? Yeah! Stripes, checks, and plaid? I don't see why not. Stripes, checks, plaid, gingham. Yup. Stripes, checks, plaid, gingham, and houndstooth? Yes, but that one might look a little bit odd. But the deal is you can wear as many patterns as your little fashion heart desires, as long as you stick to the Alpha M pattern matching principle. Now, most men are good when it comes to matching colors. Now, of course, there are a few people out there that are like, I'd adjust this, the green, go with it. And you're like, yo, what's up, Clash of the Titans? No, that doesn't match. But to tell you the truth today, it seems like the more outlandish and over the top you are with pattern color combinations, the more people are like, oh, heavens to Versace, I love your look. You are so couture. So you are solid when it comes to matching solids. But with each additional pattern that you add to that combination, the more complex it gets. And I have full confidence in you that you can match a solid shirt, pattern tie, and solid jacket or suit. This takes absolutely zero style savvy. But now if you want to do a pattern tie, pattern shirt, pattern jacket or suit, pocket square, possibly a vest, this however takes a little bit more fashion finesse. But check it out, there is only one rule that you need to remember in order to match and coordinate patterns effectively. And the word to remember is contrast. You can wear as many patterns in a single outfit as you want to, as long as all of the patterns contrast each other. And for those of you who need to study harder, contrast means obviously different. And they need to contrast in pattern size and pattern density. First thing to consider is the pattern size. If it's a check pattern, is it a small pattern? Is it a big pattern? Are they big checks or small? Is it a little houndstooth or a bigger houndstooth? Is it a small stripe or is it a wider, fatter stripe? Okay, that's what I'm talking about as far as size of pattern. And the other aspect you need to consider when analyzing a pattern is its density or how close or how many times it repeats itself in a square inch. Is it real tight and dense? Are there a lot of those items or that pattern in that square inch or is it more spread out? That's what I'm talking about when it comes to density. And pretty much as long as those patterns are different sizes and different densities, you can wear as many as you want. <laughs> are you confused yet? Well, hang tight because I've got some examples planned to help illustrate what I'm talking about a little bit better. I know that this concept is a bit more abstract and a little bit more complex than most of the things we talk about, but you know what? I've got some great examples that are hopefully going to help. The first example, I'm actually going to show you, I'm going to wear the same pattern, stripes, three different times in the same outfit. I'm going to wear a striped jacket, striped tie, striped shirt. Now conventional wisdom says three stripes together is going to look funky. And if you do it wrong, it will look funky. But I'm going to show you how to do it right. All right, same pattern, stripes, but three different ways in the same outfit. Now let's go through the checklist. First start with size. The size of the pattern are all different. They all contrast. Thin stripe, little wider stripe, and then a wider stripe with the tie. They all contrast, so they all work. Now let's check density. The density, or the repetition, the amount of times it repeats in a square inch, are a lot for the jacket. A little bit less for the shirt, and even less for the tie, which means that it contrasts in density as well. So this definitely works. Now I'm going to show you an example of a jacket and tie combo that doesn't work. All right, so check this out. Now, the size of the patterns, they are different, but it's the density. They are virtually identical between the jacket and the shirt, making this combo a little bit more awkward and not working as well as the previous one. All right, you're starting to understand. Well, let's now go over some examples of different patterns. Here's a great example. Three, actually four separate patterns, including the pocket square. All of them are different sizes. The jacket, has a grid pattern, so does the shirt, but they're different, so they work. Combine that with the stripe and you are good to go. Here's another great example. 
Maybe not the shirt, jacket, tie combo you'd go with, but it definitely works because it follows the rule. The pattern on the jacket and vest are tight, very small. The plaid on the shirt is a bit larger, not so intricate. The tie is solid and the pocket square really isn't anything other than a pocket square with a weird design. Here's a great example of the gingham shirt and the tie. Now, notice the pattern, meaning each square is approximately the same size as each of the dots, except the distance between them is very different. Here's another example. The pattern on the shirt, very similar in size to the tie, except the distance between them is very different. Here's another interesting combo, but it works because it follows the rule. And here we go again. You've got a tight stripe on the shirt, a little wider pinstripe on the jacket, the tie, it's a different pattern altogether with a repeating paisley. And this last one is a great example of how you can use the same principle and combine different fabric weaves. Notice the vest, it's herringbone. Notice the tie, also herringbone. But it works because the size and dimension are different. All right, you're starting to get it, man. This is awesome, but it does take a little bit of practice. And one way that you can practice and a little exercise that I use when I'm working with clients, when you're in a store, the next time you go shopping, what I want you to do is this. Go pick up a tie. It has to have a pattern on it. And then I want you to go find and coordinate a shirt, jacket, and suit. The deal is that all of those items and pieces need to have a pattern. They can't be solid. And what you're going to find after playing around is that you're starting to understand and you're going to be able to apply the concepts and the ideas that we talked about in this video. So give it a try. It's fun and it's a great way to practice and develop your pattern matching panache. Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It has been a pleasure and I will see you next week. Psst. Hey, you. You want a sneak peek at the new I Am Alpha M site? Yeah. Well, it's not quite ready, but I got a video link down below that's going to give you a better idea of what you can expect. It's a pretty cool video. I had a great time shooting it. It's sort of the About Us video for the site. And uh, we're less than a month away, gentlemen. It is going to be here before you know it. We're still working hard. We've run into some bugs, but it's coming together, and I literally cannot wait. It's the best thing I've ever done, and I'm so excited for you guys to have it. Um, another update, Pete and Pedro. There's a link below. There's also a discount code. If you haven't tried it, you got to get it in your hair. If you, if you try it once, you're going to fall in love. We also have just released um, shampoo and conditioner, all paraffin-free, totally healthy. We've got tea tree peppermint shampoo. We've got peppermint cream conditioner, all sorts of great stuff. There's a link below to go check them out. And uh, there's a combo pack if you want to check it out. That's a really great price. Gentlemen, I think check it out is one of those banned words that I'm not allowed to say anymore because I think I just said it like 15 times in the last 30 seconds. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you soon.